Hey guys, so basically I'm going to talk about um, what what happened with my hip and everything. I've mentioned before in a few videos that I was injured um, or my hip was bugging me. So basically what happened was um, my hip has been bothering me for about seven or eight months and then we decided to go to the doctor finally because it wasn't like major pain or whatever. It felt like the bone was kind of grinding in the socket. That was the best I could describe it, which sounds really painful, but it wasn't too bad, actually. Um, but I was talking to my friend who had had hip surgery earlier in the year, and she was like, yeah, that's how my hip felt before I had surgery. I was like, well, great. I guess we should go, you know, figure, figure out um, what's wrong with it. So we went to the doctor, and we got an MRI done, and basically... I had a labral tear, which means, and a hip impingement. The hip impingement meant that um, the bone overgrew and caused a labral tear, which means it was rubbing against the cartilage, and so it tore the cartilage. And apparently there was also a ligament that was torn slightly, um, torn away from the socket, and it, one of the tendons was like snapping. Not snapping as in like snapping in half. Snapping as in when I would do something, it would like... Like when you take a rubber band, like snap it like this. It was just doing that. Um, so anyway, I had to get surgery for that. I had my surgery on December 26th. And it was really weird because, like, you know, before I went into the surgery, I could do all this stuff. I could walk. I could, you know, lift my leg up to my nose with no problem. But then once I came out of the surgery, I could barely move my leg on my own. So that was hard. Um, I was on crutches for two weeks. And, um, that was annoying because nobody likes being on crutches. But, um, so I was on crutches for two weeks and then I was told I couldn't drive for a month and I couldn't go back to work for two months. Um, I'm still not allowed to run. I'm not allowed to run until March 26th or jump. Um, and I can't go back to dance until I'm cleared by the doctor, which the normal length is, well, normal, um, is approximately 16 weeks but um, he told me I was looking really strong and my physical therapist said the same thing I'm doing therapy twice a week um, and my therapist specializes in like dancers and um, they're really good I love them a lot um, I can definitely see a difference in my hip and it's been stronger and it feels more not stronger than it was before but I feel more ready for ballet than I was before um, before the surgery because um, they strengthen not only my hip but also they'll focus on like my back muscles and my shoulders and my core so that's good um, but anyway back to the topic um, basically I'm going back to the doctor on April 2nd to see if I will be released to dance which hopefully I will be because not dancing is killing me um, let's see I'm going to our regional Dance America Festival, whether or not I can dance. It's on April 5th through the 9th. So hopefully I will be able to dance. I won't be dancing at the festival because it will be like two or three days after I'm cleared. So that would just be a stupid idea. Um, but yeah, so hopefully I'll keep you guys updated. I feel really bad that I haven't been making videos lately. I've just been super busy, which, yeah, it's an excuse, but it's not a very good excuse. So, um, and hopefully we'll get the Nutcracker video soon for this year and hopefully I can upload more videos and once um, when we're at RDA I plan on going to a few of the classes that my friends are in and if they let me then I'm going to film them and just put little clips of it up um, maybe just film what the festival's like a little bit so yeah that's basically whenever I was talking about my hip and I said oh I'll make a video in the future well here's the video um, I hope you understand what happened, and if not, please feel free to ask questions, and I'll do my best to answer them. It's actually the same surgery that Lady Gaga just had. It wasn't as, okay, Lady Gaga had really infected hip or something, because mine wasn't infected very much. She apparently couldn't even walk for a few days before surgery. Like, it, she had to have the emergency surgery. Mine had been planned since, like, October or whatever, and my friend who had had the surgery back in April, hers was planned for, like, four months, so... Ours obviously weren't emergencies, but um, now I'm, I'm now knowing more people that have to have the same surgery. I now know, let's see, there are two girls, 
um, including myself, from my studio that have had this surgery. One of them just had it like two weeks ago. Um, another girl from my studio, her doctor told her her hip is bad enough to where she could have the surgery, but she doesn't want to be a professional dancer, so there's not really a point to have it because if you're not going to dance, then it's not really that major of a surgery or something to go through. Um, and my friend who's in another ballet company in like Florida, I think, um, he has to have the surgery and Lady Gaga just had the surgery, so now I'm like, oh wow, this is actually, you know, it's not just like, oh, you know, it's a pretty common thing for dancers. So anyway, yeah, that's what's wrong with my hip. Um, please ask questions if you have any and comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks.